Hello, children. How are you? Welcome to English class, Unit 6, Haunt, Haunted House. Do you remember? Do you remember Haunted House, the new vocabulary we learned? Yes, right about items and furniture of a house right furniture muebles furniture right and some items part of this cosas items from a house right so today we will learn new grammar aprenderemos un poquito de nueva gramática new grammar all right so let's go together Attention. So, we've got from the story. Remember the story about the ghost? Yes? Right. So, we've got there is, there isn't. There is, un poquito en español. There is significa hay. Hay. De haber algo. Hay. There isn't significa no hay. Okay? Let's see some, some examples. Ejemplos, number one. There is a radio on the cupboard. Hay una radio en la alacena. There's a radio on the cupboard. Two. There's a radio in the cupboard. Hay una radio en la alacena. Dentro. In. En la alacena. There's a radio in the cupboard. Three. There isn't a radio. No hay una radio. There isn't a radio. Okay? Understand? ¿Se entiende? Understand? Yes? Okay, so let's do some more practice. Come with me. So we've got the grammar. There is, there isn't. Recordar. Hay, no hay. There is, there isn't. Look. There's a ghost in the bedroom. Hay un fantasma en el dormitorio. There's a ghost in the bedroom. There isn't. No hay. There isn't a ghost in the bath. No hay. Un fantasma en la bañera. There isn't a ghost in the bath. All right. There is. There is. Lo podemos escribir también así. There's. Con la comita y la S. Y es lo mismo. There is. There's a ghost. Hay. ¿Ok? Y decir, no hay, there isn't, there isn't, no hay, there isn't. ¿Ok? So, again, there's a ghost in the bedroom. There isn't a ghost in the bath. Okay, let's see some examples from the story. Okay, from the story. Here. Look. Well, we are in Danny's bedroom. And his sister says, look, there isn't a ghost under the bed. 
there isn't, no hay un fantasma debajo de la cama. There isn't a ghost under the bed. Hmm? Number two. Next one. It's okay. Look, there's a ghost story on TV. Hay una historia de fantasmas en la tele. There's a ghost story. There's a ghost story on TV. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? ¿Se entiende? Yes. Excellent. Now, let's practice some more vocabulary, new words, items. Objetos, items. A computer. A computer. A radio. A radio. A CD player. A CD player. Okay. So, now, let's go to prepositions. Prepositions. Preposiciones. ¿Qué es eso? Tenemos distintas preposiciones. Estas son de lugar. Para indicar un lugar. A place. ¿Ok? Un lugar. Dentro, encima, debajo. ¿Ok? Let's see in English. In, en, dentro. On, encima, on. Under, debajo. Under. Let's see some, some examples with the ghosts. In, in, on, on, under, under, the ghost is in the box, in la caja, dentro de la caja, the ghost is in the box. The ghost is on the box. Encima de la caja. On the box. The ghost, el fantasma, the ghost is, está, is under, debajo. Under the box. Under the box. Bajo la caja. Under the box. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? ¿Se entendió? Yes. So now let's review the prepositions. In. On. Under. Good. So, let's review. Grammar, there is, there isn't. There's a ghost in the bedroom. In the bedroom. There isn't, no hay, there isn't a ghost in the bath. Right? Okay. Let's review. Now, both, ambas cosas. So, ambas. Number one, there's a radio on the cupboard. Hay una radio encima de la alacena. There's a radio, I, there's a radio on, encima, on the cupboard. Okay? Two. 
there's a radio, hay una radio, there's a radio in, in the cupboard, dentro de la alacena, en la alacena, in the cupboard. Three, there isn't a radio, no hay una radio, there isn't a radio. Okay? Understand? Yes? Good. Okay, children. So, remember to practice with the activities from the book, okay? With the exercises, o los ejercicios del libro, with the exercises from the book, remember to practice a lot, okay? See you all soon. Bye-bye.